help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Recently I was reading a book which named Ikigai and it roughly means the happiness of always being busy. As we all know, Japanese people they have the highest one of the highest life expectancies and they really love their work and they're passionate about it. And alhamdulillah Islam teaches us really beautiful things. Islam teaches us to be busy to work to be motivated and to be inspired and wherever you get something useful something beneficial when it comes to knowledge you can take from anyone just take the good and leave the bad and in this book i found out that if you want to be more active and if you want to have a more active lifestyle that will make you feel better inside and outside you just have to add few ingredients to your everyday habits so the book says walk to work or just go on a walk for a for at least 20 minutes each day and use your feet instead of an elevator or escalator this is good for your posture your muscles and your respiratory system among other things participate in social or leisure activities so that you don't spend too much time in front of the television or your social media internet or youtube and your phone screen what not replace your junk food the fast foods with fruits and you'll have less of an urge to snack and more nutrients in your system get the right amount of sleep 7 to 9 hours is good but any more than that makes you lethargic play with children or pets or join a sports team this not only strengthens the body but also stimulates the mind and boosts self esteem be conscious of your daily routine in order to detect harmful habits and replace them with more positive ones by making these small changes you can begin to renew your bodies and minds and increase your life expectancy as they say my dear brothers and sisters in islam we have this five daily salah which is compulsory for each and every muslim who reaches their puberty and by praying this five daily salah five daily salah you have some sort of exercise in your routine it makes you focus it makes you come to your lord and connect to your lord five times a day and when you make ablution when you it refreshes you it rejuvenates you when you connect yourself with your lord you have this sweetness in your heart you become spiritually elevated and islam encourages you to do good deeds on a daily basis to be good to others to bring a smile to others to give sadaqa to others and islam teaches you not to be harmful not to hurt others and islam teaches you to take care of your body to eat good things halal things my dear brothers and sisters the non muslims they are following islam sometimes even without they themselves not knowing and we muslims we are going far away from islam when we follow islam when we follow the instructions of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we follow the sunnah of prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we'll have the best in this dunya in this life and in the hereafter follow this beautiful steps and beautiful suggestions and it will make yourself a better person you will feel happy and you will feel better inside and outside so always try to find out knowledge read 
the first word that was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam by Allah subhanahu wa taala is read. You can read anything that is beneficial, and you can enhance your knowledge. And Islam supports it. All the good knowledge that is now here and there and widespread are all the gems that has been lost from the Muslims. So collect your gems from wherever you are getting it. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org. Link in the description.